The Big 12 may actually secure a new media rights deal in a matter of weeks. Now, this is big-time news for the Big 12, right? Because, really, it's between them and the Pac-12 as to who is going to be the strongest conference after the top two, right? And, and really, it could be, uh, honestly, if a new TV deal comes in and, and makes them what they think they're going to make, they could be the third strongest conference ahead of even the ACC because the ACC's deal is done. It is set up. They are going to be getting about 35 to $40 million per school from now until 2036. I mean, it's a long, long time. With the Big 12, I mean, they, they're coming up on their rights deal. They've got their schools locked in. This is a big deal. This is a very, very big deal. Uh, the article by Dennis Dodd over at CBS Sports says the conference's decision to go to market early could ultimately pay off. Well, the reason it's going to pay off is because if they get this deal done before the Pac-12 is able to get a deal done, there may not be a whole lot of money left to go around. There may not be a whole lot of uh, TV times left to go. Like the, Right, the time slots. That's a big, big ordeal. Uh, the article says that it could be in place. The media rights deal could be in place with ESPN and Fox in a matter of weeks. Uh, they have been aggressively pursuing a deal. We've heard Brett Yormark, the commissioner of the Big 12, talk over and over and over again about making sure that they have added the most value possible, making sure that they get their deal done quickly. Uh, it's, it's insane. They're trying to maybe expand further. He's brought that up. He wants to get into that West Coast uh, so that he can get that fourth time slot. And I, I don't blame him. Um, now, he did tell CBS Sports on Wednesday, if a new deal is not finalized in the near term, there is the option to wait 16 months. And that's when the formal negotiating window would actually begin. So if they don't like what they get right now, they can wait around. They can do whatever. Uh, your mark expects the revenue to actually increase. We talked about this recently on the show. Uh, despite the fact that Texas and Oklahoma are leaving, he thinks the deal is going to go up. And the way that that works is TV rights deals are worth a lot more right now than they were when they signed their initial deal. Just bottom line, it's, it's going to be worth more because you see the number of people that are watching games every single week. There were like eight or nine games that did over 2 million viewers just last week. It's crazy. Like live sports is the only thing on television that actually draws in live viewers anymore. Because you've got Hulu and you've got all these streaming things. If you miss a show, you can catch up on it later. You miss a game, you can't go back and catch up on it. That's not how these things work. You, you have to be there in the moment, which means all of the advertising, all of that is worth just exponentially more than what it used to be worth. And these companies and the conferences have now found out, hey, we have got prime real estate here. We have got something that incredibly passionate people are not going to turn off. They are going to keep this thing on until the very end of the game. And they're right. They're capitalizing on this. And the Big 12 understood we have got to go to market soon and not wait this thing out, not wait for that formal negotiating period, which is in 16 months from now, you know, year and a half, whatever it is. It's genius from them to go on and do this. So, with the two Giants gone, um, it, it, Texas and Oklahoma, Big 12 schools are currently receiving $43 million annually for their media rights. Now, it says, currently, that's what they got in the previous deal, uh, or in the previous year. It, it's not like that every single year, right? So, it, they didn't make $43 million every year. But he did say, uh, he said, I'm a good salesman. He stressed the value of live sports, the unknown of who is going to win, uh, which has long been the attraction of TV rights. There's nothing more valuable than live sports right now. He said, generally speaking, there's a huge appetite for what we sell. That in and of itself gets us to a higher place. And he's right. Um, this is, Big Ten schools are going to make a gargantuan amount of money. SEC schools are going to make a gargantuan amount of money. The Big 12 is not going to make that. But what you are going to see is a pretty hefty deal for those remaining teams inside the Big 12 because of the passion of the fan bases. No, they don't have massive markets, but they do have a lot of people that will watch the games on television that will tune into ESPN+, Plus, etc., which that is a big thing about this. 
I don't believe ESPN would be super invested in the Big 12 if they didn't already see some amount of return on their investment from when they started streaming the Big 12 games on ESPN+. Plus. People figured it out in the Midwest. They realized, oh, we're going to have to get this you know, $5 a month streaming service in order to watch our football teams and basketball teams play. Well, screw it. We'll just go ahead and get it. I think that they've been watching, and I think ESPN knows the numbers, and they understand the importance of these games, and they understand the importance of these teams. I think if ESPN and Fox are interested in this, then yes, that means that they have seen the numbers, and they understand the value of passionate fan bases regardless of the market size. So yes, I think this is huge. This is a massive, massive deal because it is going to hurt the Pac-12. Guaranteed. I guarantee you that when they get this thing done, there will be some kind of a clause in there for if they were to bring in, uh, in 2025, schools like Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, and Colorado. There's just there's going to be something to bring those schools in after they lose Texas and Oklahoma. No, that stuff may not be done yet, but if the Pac-12 deal ends up being $25, $30 million per school or something along those lines, if it's, if it's $10 to $15 million less, how quickly will some of those Pac-12 schools want to jump over to the Big 12? And how willing will the network partners be to maybe up the ante a little bit in order to get those kinds of matchups? Now, I don't know how enticing an Iowa State-Arizona game is or Arizona State against, I don't know, Kansas State, right? I don't know what the, what the value of that is, but I think it's more than not having the inventory at all. Just throwing it out there. So, yeah, I think this is a massive, massive ordeal. Cheers to them. Cheers to them for getting this thing done because that is just, I mean, huge. Absolutely huge. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.